Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss about master detail form and something about tabular form. Uh, so let's begin with our example. Today we will uh, create a, a master detail form uh, where the master, master form will be the department and the detail will be the employees. So let's begin with our demonstration today. Create a page. It will be a form. It will be master detail form. Now it's talking about creating master detail form. Okay, master table and columns. So we're talking about the master table. The departments is the master table. And these are the columns. Next. In the detail tables and columns. This is the detail tables and columns. So out of the detail tables, this is the employees. You see, uh, only employees is selected here because we have a foreign key defined in the database from uh, department to employees. So uh, Oracle Apex is intelligent enough to determine that and the table name is selected here. And here, these are the uh, column names selected automatically. Okay, that's it. Next. Now, it's talking about primary key. The primary key for department is department ID and primary key for employees is employee ID. You'll have to select here. I have selected here in department ID. This is the primary key column. And employee ID is the primary key column of uh, primary key column of the employees table. Now next, uh, there are three options here: um, existing triggers, uh, column PLSQL function, custom PLSQL function, and the existing sequences. In the custom PLSQL function, we can we can define it. Let's do it like this. Let's do it in here. So let's. It's a function that means it will return a value. Declare begin end. VID number three. Whatever it is, let's see five. Select in VL Max Department Department ID plus one into VID from department okay return vid next now employees id similarly declare Declare VID number say five doesn't matter here yeah. and select NVL zero max. Employee ID plus one into V V I D from employees return V I D. This is the code generated next. Now, 
navigation no problem this one it is not very important secondary navigation nothing there okay next 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 great okay now let's run now let's click here here's our form this is the sales department and these are the employees in the these are the employees in the sales department now let's dig deep into this form what how this one is actually created we will focus on this uh, tabular form today so let's do it employees now let's you see the employee's detail name and the type is tabular form okay so now in the component view if we see this see it is nothing but a sql query you see that the de definition is nothing but a query and because it is a master detail so that means the the sales the employee of uh, employees that will be populated in the grid are of the same department that is shown on the master how is that done just a hoy clause department id equal to this item okay now let's move to in the page design view it is more a uh, specific because you know in the employee detail it is type tabular form it is type of tabular form it is not classic report or, or not anything else it is type classic uh, tabular report okay and you see the processes here you see get pk this is the primary key process that we have de defined for our primary key item this is the get pk you see if you def if you see here in the definition of get, get pk you see the get pk item is returned here this is the process that apex created for us so that we can uh, generate the department id automatically now we will look into and and this is the process which is um, dml process for row dml row processing uh, process automatic row process dml process uh, for department id okay and for employee we have apply mru multi row update tabular form what type of it is what type of row it, uh, process it is it is tabular multi row update okay and what is uh, this this one is multi row delete so you can delete more than you can enter or edit more than one record you can delete more than one record at the same time okay now one very important aspect is let's see how we generate the primary key for employee okay okay now come to here yeah this is the employee in detail this is employee report these are the report columns that we have defined in our report and you see this is the expression this is the code we, we have written while defining the page and this is where, where it is gone so whenever you in a tabular form whenever you create a record a uh, employee id is generated automatically through this one thing to uh, take note of uh, the uh, the query here i have defined is very simple this is the simplest of the query 
but at the same time this is the worst of the queries okay you never create a max value plus one query in real life in real production environment because it's a hugely costly uh, query in your production where there is millions and millions and billions of records max plus one is very very costly you never do this you can do this by sequences or by uh, lookup table and triggers so let's run the page again now this is the page shown here you see this is the add row if i create on add row a blank page will be created here item will be created here let's create a name Now let's see. Yeah, this is the record we have created. So the tabular farm is working perfectly. This is the simplest of demonstration on tabular farm. We'll uh, further dig deep into the tabular farm. We'll create validations and we'll create computations and processes in the tabular farm in our next video and we'll try ajax in our next video in tabular form okay thank you for watching thank you everybody